In April 2005, AMD introduced the Athlon 64X2. These line of CPUs introduced <laughs> dual core computing to the general public. It combined two Athlon 64K8 cores onto one CPU and was a relatively neat solution back in 2005 to have a nice dual core processor. On the other hand, also in April 2005, Intel introduced the Pentium D to the world. This consisted of two Pentium 4 cores. Um, used in earlier processors, it would have been Prescott cores, and in later processors like this one, these would have had two Cedar Mill cores. These were essentially two Pentium 4s glued together on a single CPU. It wasn't very sophisticated, and the cores communicated through the North Bridge. They had some issues, um, most notable being power draw and heat. Thankfully, this Dell has a decent cooling solution, so heat isn't a problem. Unfortunately, power draw is still a problem on this, and while the power supply on this is solid, um, it still works. A lot of machines, especially HPs, were notorious for coming with bad power supplies that well, already couldn't handle something like an Athlon 64X2, certainly couldn't handle one of these. But thankfully, this Dell Dimension E520 isn't in bad shape overall. It would have come with Windows Vista Basic, Home Basic, mind you, one gigabyte of RAM, and I believe a 250 gigabyte hard drive back in the day. This one didn't have a hard drive that came with it, but I put in a, I put in a cheap SATA SSD. It'll work. It'll especially work for Vista, which I put on this again. This has a DVD-ROM drive. Um, unusually, this has a SATA DVD-ROM drive. Usually speaking, PCs like this would have come with DVD burners, even relatively cheap ones at this point. But surprisingly, this doesn't have a burner. It just has a DVD-ROM drive, although it can burn CDs. Unfortunately, the drive doesn't work, but that doesn't matter too much. But we'll get this computer started because it's more interesting to actually use it than it is to talk about it. <laughs> That's how I tend to feel about a lot of PCs anyways. Um, Let's get this set up. And for once, I actually have a tripod for this. Ah, oh, don't give me that. F2 to set up run utility. Uh, let's start with diskette drive. I do not have a floppy disk drive in here. I never have, and I never will. Onboard devices. But yeah, um, as you can see, this has a Pentium D925, I believe it is. It's a three gigahertz, uh, what do they call it, Pressler, uh, Pentium D. It was the 65 nanometer revision of the processors, um, but it's not so bad actually. More importantly, I put two gigabytes of RAM in here. This came with one gigabyte. I added another gigabyte running at 667 megahertz, um, which is not bad at all. I also have a graphics card in here. Unfortunately, it's not very good, but a GPU is a GPU, and in this case, it's better than the GeForce 8400 GS it came with, um, which, lordy, that was terrible. Um, it's December 27th, apparently. I should have set the time earlier, but if you know me, that's not something I do. It's uh, 8.43. All right, should be able to save and exit now. Let's get a little closer to the monitor. There we go. And humorously, I'm using two ThinkPads. <laughs> I'm using two ThinkPads to prop this tripod up. It kind of needs it, but I digress. And unfortunately, I'm using a Logitech, like a crappy Logitech wired keyboard. More annoying, the wire isn't very long for this, so it's kind of annoying to work with. And a Dell mouse. I have the, I have the ideal solution to play Counter Strike Source. If only I could actually play on this PC. Oh man, I shouldn't have closed it out. I wanted to show you all the GPU that was in here. Oh well. Where's control panel when you need it? Please, Callus Control Center. I know you don't work. Hopefully, that gave hopefully that gave you the hint as to what's in here. Um, system and maintenance system. Windows Experience Index. Let's see how well or poorly it does. 
Refresh now. Oh my god. Windows always needs your permission to continue. Nope, that's not what I'm trying to do. Try and get the Moire parents looking less terrible in here, which is always fun. Yeah, I don't want it that far. Um, I could always pull this out a little bit more. No, I don't like that either. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to live with what I've got. I think. Um. Well, because I have some time to kill. Use a box that some laser discs shipped in because, well. Improv is always how I roll when it comes to these videos. And there we go. Oh, God, that probably is going to look worse on camera. Oh, well. I'm going to have to live with it, I think. Half this video is just going to be me trying to set up the camera. <laughs> Wouldn't be that much worse than me trying to hold it, though, so I'll take it. Uh, that might work. Mm, I don't really like that personally. I think I'll just live with the Mari pattern, patterning. Either way, it's not gonna look. It's not gonna look fantastic on video, but I'm also shooting on a phone, so it was never going to look fantastic. Check your anti-spyware software status. This isn't connected to the internet. I don't care. 3.9. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I gotta go to computer. Properties. Oh, damn it. Um, computer. Where's that message? Ah, oh, whatever. We're not gonna find out the GPU here, are we? So we'll find out over here. And yep, I'm using an ATI Radeon HD 2400 Pro. Um, I had an HD 2600 XT in here. I had to remove it because I realized I didn't have a DVI to VGA adapter on me right now. And that's never fun. So let's start this with trying to play some Blur. Um, if I remember how to play it with a keyboard anyways. Surprisingly, it runs on here. Um, but you realize very quickly that this poor HD 2400 Pro is not much better than the 8400 GS it came with. Is it better? Probably. I, I would hope so. Because those are truly terrible. And the one that came in here also ran really hot. As in, I almost burned myself touching it. Um, let's see. Let's make sure settings are all the way down. Yeah, this looks horrible. But... This is how we're gonna have to play Blur. Unfortunately, we gotta sit through cutscenes. Why don't I do more video preparation beforehand? As you compete in their events, you'll start earning likes and fans. Yes, I know. I know how Blur plays. I played it before. Oh God, is it starting while playing the videos? Lights unlock more events. Fans unlock cars. Nissan Navara. Also have a set of demands. You want to complete them all I don't care about their set of demands. I care about how terrible this game's gonna run. Ooh, latency. Game fans, ah, who cares? This is a monitor. It's as old as. Well, it's old enough to vote. April 2005, which is making me feel old. Okay. Please. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's gonna be at least one more cutscene. I think there's like two more before I can even start a race, annoyingly. You know what would be even simpler? If I could just skip the damn cutscene. I know how this game plays. I've played it many times before. Finish the race in the top three to earn lights. The better your finish position, the more lights you earn. Okay. Please. Alright, what car do I choose? 
I think I'm gonna choose the Focus RS. Let's respray this because this color's. Oh, never mind. I'll, I'll live with green. We're tapping. We're tapping hard. Let's. Oh, no. That's not a good sign. Oh, ho, ho. That is not a good sign. <laughs> It hasn't frozen yet, well, it hasn't completely crashed yet, but I'm not holding my breath on this actually running good, if it wants to run. Oh my god. Oh ho ho, we might have ran out of VRAM. <laughs> oh. This is bad. How much does this game require again? 256 megabytes. Whoops. Yeah, this, this might not go as planned. Can I control shift escape out of here? Oh, yes, I can. Well, eventually. Okay, this isn't going to work. And it's just... Come on. Alright, can I control alt delete out of here? Oh, that's not good. We have ran out of VRAM. process okay okay we lived that didn't go as planned so let's try flat out two instead i know this runs because i actually just tried it the way it's meant to be played not on this computer for one i don't have an nvidia graphics card that would work in here well no i don't think the quadro would work either um that would probably just i don't think there's any drivers for it on vista Let's turn the music down so that we don't get this video claimed. We'll just turn it to 10. There we go. I know this will run. It won't run great, but... And unfortunately, I'm going to be trying to play this through the lens of a camera. Well, a phone camera. Gas station. Where's the flatmobile? There we go. And this one I'm playing at native resolution. Uh, is it uh, 1024 by 768? That's not so bad. Okay. Uh oh. There we go. Uh, this doesn't run great, but I think I could lower the settings. I could get a locked 60 FPS. Hey, I got someone already. Ah, oh, man. Come on, Flatmobile. I know you can live. Oh, I, oh, no, I'm not stuck on this car. But this is actually running better than I expected. I'm entirely GPU bound, and I had to turn the texture down to medium, which is very disappointing. Ooh, someone got destroyed, and my car is looking worse for wear now. Oh, psych. There we go. Explosions really do this card in. I think this card has DDR2, which really does not help my case. Meanwhile, the 2600 XT that was in here had... I think I, think I had GDDR3. Oh, damn it, I'm gonna die. Come on. Come on. I'll live. I just have to play my cards right. Oh, no, no, no. oh well, I hit someone at least. Okay, so it's just down to me and this fool. Oh my god! Okay, I have to I have to play this well. I'm I'm down to my last sliver of health. I need to play this well, otherwise I will get destroyed. Oh this poor this poor thing. Oh we both destroyed each other! <laughs> I'll take it! That actually ran better than I expected. First place, apparently. Again, I will take it. Okay, let's exit. That ran okay. That ran a lot better than I would have ex Oh god, what happened to my background? Oh, it's not very CPU demanding, obviously. I know it is, though. Team Fortress 2. If it loads, I'm going to have to play this at really low settings. There's no way... 
This poor thing's gonna handle it at 1024 by 768. Not because of the CPU, but which granted can't really handle this game, but because the GPU is garbage with a capital G. Model detail low. Everything that I can set to low, I will set to low because this is going to need it. Multi-core rendering, HDR, no, ho, ho, that, that even costs some VRAM. Okay, start playing Team Fortress 3. Let's let it load, and let's regret all of that. Surprisingly, this is the quickest this is the quickest video I've done so far despite the fact that we had to wait for blurs cutscenes to go through all right um show low res image I'm going to need that um, oh I can't change fong in here but I can turn off specular maps. Wait, no, that's peculiar maps. Um, actually, yeah, that would be. Matt, anti-alias, nope, and there we go. Bump mapping, nope. Normal mapping, okay, that's already turned off. Let's see, here's some threaded arguments I could actually use. Oh. Let's see, okay. Uh, let's see how this runs. TF bot add. Let's do 11 bots. Oh, oh, oh my God. This looks like a Nintendo 64 game, but this is running a fair bit better than I would have expected. Um, I think I can add a couple more bots. Let's add three more. Oh, well, it's running. Uh, it's not running great, and it looks... <laughs> oh, wow, this looks awful. At least I'm not having to play in DirectX 8 mode. <laughs> No, that was awful. Okay, let's turn the volume up a little bit. Oh yeah, it already is. Ooh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my God, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. Well, ah, come on, heavy. Go up there to go get the heavy. Oh, I got the travel and shit. I'll take it. This actually is running quite a bit better than I would have expected. I am used to this not running good, but it seems like having more RAM has helped a lot. What are you staring at, sniper? Let's add three more bots. Um. Well, we're not running that much better, but... Hey, that was actually pretty clever. Okay, where are all the bots at? Oh boy, we're in the 30s now. Let's see, can I at least snipe someone? I got a, I got a headshot. I actually got a headshot. Oh my god, this monitor sucks. I'm not used to playing TF2 at 1024 by 768. Not anymore, anyways. Uh, let's see. Oh no, this mag's gonna kill me. Oh, this cross here is absolutely useless because it just looks like a plus sign. Trying to play TF2 on this is a fate worse than death. Okay, I think we, I, I think I might have played enough at this point. I, I can't handle that. But 
yeah, um, that's the Pentium D experience, apparently. Actually, I, I've seen worse. I've, yeah. I should try Linux on here someday, but to be completely honest, I don't have much point in trying to do that on this desktop anyways. Maybe on another, but I would prefer not to suffer like that, so. Oh, apparently we're in a different time zone. I set the clock. Okay, it is nine o'clock. There we go. Okay, I think with that, I'm done with this video. I don't have much else to talk about with this. It, well, actually I do. The desktop itself is a fair bit interesting. Um, let's get that all taken care of right now. So yeah, as I said, this is a Dell Dimension E520 with a Pentium D925. Uh, but if I pull it out, I can show you all what's actually in here. Let's unplug it from the wall. I'm gonna have to reset the time again, but oh well. Um, okay. Pull out the side panel with that little handle, which is neat. And well, first things first, this is a BTX form factor desktop, which is always annoying. Uh oh, let's not knock over my PS2. But PCI Express slot, two PCI slots, which was actually kind of generous. Um, four RAM slots, which was always nice. Um, I think this has four SATA ports and an ID port somewhere. Actually, no, it's a floppy drive connector. Um, I think this is a relatively proprietary Dell power supply. Actually, no, that looks normal. This might actually just be a bog standard ATX power supply, which is confusing given that this is a BTX form factor and there's a good old hd 2400 pro um i need better display adapters i need display adapters with vga on them that aren't completely terrible and can be used on xp and vista unfortunately this isn't one of those and here's the sophisticated cooling solution if i can take that side off i can oh wait never mind i remember it takes quite a lot of effort to get it off but there's a fan, it's just not in the heat sink, funny enough. And this thing had a lot of dust when I got it. It does not now. It's much cleaner inside now. And it runs much cooler because I also repasted it as a result. But I think that's all I really have to say about this desktop. Oh, except for the SSD now that I think about it. If I can find it. Um, oh yeah, I have a tripod, I don't have to worry about that. This is a Silicon Power A55 128 gigabyte SSD. I bought it for a different project. I end up using it for this one, so I can't complain too much. But I think that's all I have to say about this PC. It cost me $12. I don't think it was worth $12, but it was at least worth an experience, so I can't complain too much. Um, hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.